Welcome to Channel It Resolves, where we play a new deck list every video. I'm Country Fried, and today we're going to be playing T. Stokes' Rakdos Twinferno. For somebody who says he's a fairly new player, this dude is brewing up like crazy. <laughs> Let's take a look. All right, guys, here we are with the uh, Twinferno Rakdos package. T. Stokes, thanks again, brother. I truly appreciate it. For somebody who says he doesn't like to build decks, man, or he was worried about being able to build decks, he is brewing up like crazy. Now, for the most part, this is still your package completely in its entirety. However, I did take out the four tapped lands that you had. I know they gain life when you when they come into play. And uh, I put in Zia Tours Proving Ground in here instead. So we've got the cycle ability late game if we need to do some card draw. And you're still getting the red and the black off of it. You're just missing the one life ping uh, that you're gaining when it drops into play. Um, I also kind of balanced out your swamps to your mountains a little bit more because you're casting more red within this package than you are at black. However, I do understand what you were doing. You were guaranteeing to get uh, Invoke Despair, but I wasn't having problems with it, brother. So I truly appreciate it again. I didn't want to change it up too much, but uh, yeah, man, it was a lot of fun. This deck's got attitude, so let's hop into it and take a look. This is your removal package right here. We've got two cut downs. We've got two flame bless bolts. Of course, cut down destroys target creature with power toughness five or less. And then flame bless bolt deals two damage to target creature or planeswalker. And then if that creature or planeswalker would die this turn, exile it instead. So if you get a mono black matchup, make sure you're holding this for the tenacious underdogs. We've also got three infernal grafts just for quick removal. Of course, you lose two life when you uh, cast it and you destroy a creature. We got Heroes Downfall to help us remove Planeswalkers as well. And then, of course, the Board Sweeper of Choice, which is only two of in this, is uh, the Meat Hook Massacre, which I think everybody knows by now. You cast it for X, and all creatures on the board get negative X, negative X, or, or I'm sorry, minus X, minus X, negative X, negative X. Either works. And then whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses a life. And then whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, you gain a life. Our one creature in the package is Shieldred the Apocalypse. I think everybody knows this one by now, but if not, it's two colorless, two black for a 4-5 with Death Touch, and whenever you draw a card, you gain two life, and whenever an opponent draws a card, they lose two life. Look, they're going to want to remove this, so don't be worried if it's just going out. Uh, you play it, and it just dies. That's the way it is. Uh, this is a creature that your opponent absolutely has to answer. Plus, we have a way to get it back with Takanuma's Abandoned Mire. Okay, so don't worry about it too much. Plus, that's not exactly the win con of this deck. We'll get into that here in a second. Here's our draw package. Uh, Thrill of Possibility and Big Score kind of work the same way. You, both of them, when you cast them, you've got to discard a card. You draw two cards. Thrill of Possibility only costs two. Big Score costs four. Uh, the only difference is, is Big Score also drops two token artifact treasures uh, on the field as well. And then... Fable of the Mirror Breaker, I'm calling a draw package as well. I know it makes the 2-2 red Goblin Shaman that can create treasure tokens for us. However, we're basically looking for that level 2 to get to our combo. And that's kind of what we're doing is we're digging through this deck as quickly as possible to get to the combo, to ramp up in mana, and just take over the control of the game before your opponent can do anything really significant. And then, of course, the three, it exiles, it comes back in, it becomes Reflection of Kiki Jiki. It's 2-2, two, two. you can pay one, you can tap it and create a token that's a copy of another target, non-legendary creature you control, except it has haste. Sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. So, there's that. This is the uh, kind of draw package. Now, Burn Down the House, you could technically put in here as a removal package piece, but more often than not, we're dropping this for the three one one red devil tokens and getting it on the board just to create some aggro. And they're great because, of course, if you meat hook them after you do the three damage, you get to ping your opponent for six more damage because they're three creatures of yours dying, so that's three damage, plus you get to shoot three more damage with them. And if you hit it with the namesake of this deck list, Twinferno, you get to choose one of the following. When you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell, and you may choose new targets for that copy. And that's kind of what we're looking to do with Invoke Despair and Burn Down the House. However, it's got the second ability, too, that would be really good, and that is target creature you control gains double strike until the end of next turn. So if you absolutely had to, you can use Twinferno's double strike ability on a Shieldred, Eight damage is nothing to laugh at. And of course, if you absolutely just need to squeeze a little bit more, you've got a possibility of four damage with Kiki Jiki or the Goblin Shaman if they're still alive or two damage there. However, more often than not, we're looking to double up on Invoke Despair or Burn Down the House, creating six one one red devils 
or just going absolutely ballistic with Invoke Despair, which is one colorless, four black. Target opponent sacrifices a creature, and if they can't, they lose two life and you draw a card. And then you repeat the process for an enchantment of Planeswalkers as well. This deck is nuts. Attitude all over the place. I had a lot of fun with it. It moves really fast. Uh, you could probably get hung up on a counter game, but you'll see a game in here where we pop off really well. I'm not telling you whether it's game one or two but really well and uh yeah it was just a lot of fun see i truly appreciate it man uh we do have the takanuma's abandoned mire in here so we can get shoulder back from the graveyard and then of course we've got crucible of De uh defiance if we absolutely need to drop two one ones into play as well so there's the deck list i'm gonna let you guys get to the game play i'll see you guys at the outro and again t stokes Keep building, brother, because I love these decks, man. This was a lot of fun, bro. I truly appreciate you letting me take this one out for a spin. Guys, I hope you uh, you enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Until then, stay safe, be happy, and healthy. Peace. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Opponent goes first, man. I don't hate it. I don't love it. We'll keep it. Hello. Man. So far, it's pretty good, as long as we're not running into blue. It's not. So it's just discard. Bunch of discards. We should be able to outpace it. down okay okay the hands getting slim I do like that Got more spot removal. Infernal grasp. We're liking where this is going so far. Man, they could pull out on top though. Yep. They won some there. Might me hook the board now. If so, they get more damage out of it than we do. If they're running meat hook. I like your style, bro. It's definitely running meat hook. Right? It's gotta be. It is not. What? We're just gonna flat out just smack him down with this. Okay. Good news is we got Infernal Grasp in case if they're playing a shielder to their own. Liliana sucks. Sacrifice a creature. No more distractions. Oh, each player discards. Yeah. Sure. I'm tired of your secrets. Do not touch me again. We're going to discard the swamp to thrill the possibility and Takanuma Shieldred's back. We'll do this now. Drop 
it. Yeah, that is an oops. Sorry, I'm not interested in dying today. Good news is we're ahead. We just need the card off the top. That sucks. All right. We'll drop to Inferno on this one. It's a good card off the top. We'll showcase it a little bit. Then we'll get it. GG's, man. No twin Inferno combo and it still did all right, T. I like it, bro. GG's. This month's Patreon rewards features some of the most impactful Lotuses in Magic's history. Check out all the details and sign up at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, we go first and we've got the combo in hand, but no red lands. So we're going to mulligan. Yeah, we'll keep. See if we're running against counters. Yeah. We're also not running into any lands. What the crap? <laughs> All right. Demir, Demir, what do you have? Okay. They're going to take big score. I would take big score. I took Twin Inferno. Hmm. Okay. We'll pay zero. Drop. They know what we got in hand except for the despair. Give us a black land off the top. Give us a swamp. Give us an untapped swamp. Just one, please. Oh, we're living the dream. <laughs> there you go, T. We may end up dying, but we lived the dream. Sure. Nah, I can resolve. I just. Uh, let's go here because it's going to drop tokens for us and we can have thrill the possibility. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, sure. Give me another twin Inferno. Give me another twin Inferno, please. Uh, we were trying to live the absolute dream. We did not. No cost is too great. It's all right. 
It's got to draw, right? Guess not. You deal with this annoyance. Okay. They can start gaining life off of it if they want to. We can always burn down the house for five. I don't know what else they're gonna get into here. Maybe a memory deluge, maybe another shieldred. It's kind of rude, but okay. Got something else that's sticky. Uh, um, let's see. Takanumas. Yeah, that's it, really. If they can counter it, they can counter it. We've still got a little bit of time. Interesting tactic. I won't let this be over. Come on. It's another twin inferno. It's not it. If they've got counters, we gotta push them out of their hand. Cause we just have to. <laughs> we just have to. afraid they're gonna meat hook on us when we could do six damage right here okay Probably not the smartest call, but wanting to push the damage. That's why. However, Oh, so close to living the dream. Again, twice in one game. Sure. That locks him out of their uh, mana. That should leave us open. Even to get around a spell pierce. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, twice in one game, T. <laughs> What's going on, bro? <laughs> GG's. GG's. Damn. All right, guys, there you go. So, yeah, that was the gameplay, man. We did pop off with it in one game. However, the other game, it just kind of worked itself and just kind of went aggro and still won. So uh, the deck works in a multitude of ways. So I was really impressed with it. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it. Is it viable on the ladder? I don't know. We didn't really hit any mono black matchups, and we didn't hit anything like mono blue or Rakdos or anything like that with it that would have drove me nuts. But... Um, we hit some, we hit a what? A Demir and an Orzhov deck list, and it did fine against it. The Demir deck list, I was worried about counters all the time. However, we pushed through, which is kind of what you got to do against counter deck. And I think the land uh, change up is probably better suited to the deck, but I could be wrong. You may want to drop this down to six and put this up to nine so you're making sure that you're hitting the Invoke Despair. Uh, T plays it more than I do, so T. Your thoughts, leave in the comments below, man, and let us know. Um, as far as the rest of the package goes, I would probably take down Infernal Grasp, just because I don't like it. <laughs> but um, I would probably move uh, Flame Bless Bolt Up one, cut down one, and probably put Burn down to three. But that's just me. So that's where I would go with the deck list. I'll leave the original deck list that I played in the description below and i'll link t stokes's original deck list in the, in the uh, description below as well and as always guys i truly appreciate you guys hanging out if you would leave that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already free ways to help out the channel we truly appreciate you and we like to know when you appreciate us as well because we're sensitive like that we're sensitive guys sensitive salty old guys <laughs> so anyways <laughs> all right man t again thanks brother guys have a great one again stay safe be happy and healthy until next time peace we'll see you later